Hello everyone, Crypto Explorer here. Welcome back on the channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. This video is about the mountain again. I haven't done a video uh, on the mountain for a while, but I thought uh, that facing what happened for this past week on DeFi, this would be a good point in time for me to just bring an update on the mountain and, and tell you how what happened to those big players. Uh, I'm talking about Wealth Mountain and Sable Fund. What happened to those is something that cannot happen uh, to the mountain, to any of those, be the BUSD, the BNB, or the Matic. And that's just something not possible because that's not how the contract is designed to act. Okay. The mountain is designed for long lasting. There's no option for unstaking at any time. So, what happened to those big players cannot happen on the mountain. And that's bottom of the line okay um what what you can expect from the mountain is that it's designed for long lasting and sustainability i'm gonna go back here on monarch I'm not sure why why the page closes it doesn't matter so what i want to focus here um, on this one is that why can can it not happen for the mountain well basically uh, those big players just saw the, the meltdown of their TVLs because uh, they had the option for users to unstake at any time. And if FOMO can build a project uh, in a blink of an, eye, of an eye, also there's the reverse of the coin, which is food, and food can just cause the project to crumble as fast as it grew um, whenever it arises and people start panicking. And I think that's what happened. Uh, there were probably big wallets that withdrew and many people panicked they followed the the wave and well the the wave just started uh, the snowball turned into an avalanche so basically that's what happened and so those projects having no constraints whatsoever when users decide to unstake they can unstake at any time there's some fees yes but uh, better take 80% Better take some losses, like 20%, 30% of a loss, than take 100%, right? And that's what people uh, decide to do, obviously. It's only natural. I'm not saying the mountain is better or worse and it's good and the others are bad. I'm just saying it's a different protocol. And not all projects are built the same, not all are coded the same. And the way that the mountain is coded is to be long lasting. I tell you again. Hope, uh, hopefully, and I, I personally believe in this, the mountain can be for the ROI dApps what BNB miners was and still is for the miners apps, okay? And that's that's just my personal opinion, uh, not financial advice, but still, what happened with those big players cannot happen on the mountain. And maybe this is a point in time where people start to see the true uh, potential of the mountain. And granted, uh, probably, um, I will say that probably something that is making people to shy away from the mountain is the fact that, yes, it has a, a, a solid team. Yes, it has a ton of security on the contract, which is not many projects are uh, up to that uh, standard. Uh, but at the same point, the, the fact that many people who don't understand how the protocol works and when they are facing the protocol, they don't know, they don't have a specific percentage or, or number of uh, days for ROI, that might set them back when uh, considering the project. And that's just the, the nature of, of things, obviously, but uh, you have to understand how the project works, how it is uh, distributing dividends in order to understand uh, why there is no such thing as a fixed or set uh, ROI for these protocols. Um, actually, in my experience, for the Mountain Matic, there's one um, average ROI which is different for the the Mountain BNB and also the the Mountain BUSD, and that's only only natural, all right. It mostly depends on the amount of uh, funds being. Uh, deposited on the daily auctions for the Matic and weekly auctions for the BNB and BUSD, okay? So actually right now we are in a point in time where the mountain BNB is very, very uh, promising, very, very good entry point and I'm going to tell you 
that in a second. I'm just going to show you how the TVL has fluctuated for the past seven days in all of the 3D Mountain uh, protocols. So I'm I'm on the Moonark DAP, by the way, um, just to, to compare us to put in comparison all the three of them. So here we have the TVL for the last seven days and the Mountain BUSD, which is the youngest one, uh, lost 10% of its TVL for the past seven days. The Mountain BNB took quite a, a substantial hit with less 45% of the um, TVL uh, being paid to investors for the past seven days. And the Mountain Matic took 8.37% uh, loss on, on TVL. So all of these losses are just uh, dividends paid to investors. In the case of the Mountain BUSD and the Mountain BNB, let's see after today's auction, when the auction closes in later on today, how uh, much of this percentage will go back into the protocols. I know I will be investing more um, later on. Specifically, I'm, I'm looking at the Mountain BNB, which is proving itself to be in a very, very interesting entry point right now. Uh, for anyone considering to invest in them, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to enter on the DAP. Uh, by the way, there's a little over one hour and 30 minutes for the auction to close. So that's one other reason why you should subscribe to the channel and keep yourself posted for any new new videos. I'm putting this out there. Uh, if, if you're watching this after the auction closes, the next one is for the next Friday opening. So have that in mind, okay? So right now, there's 0.48 BNB deployed on the contract. I'm pretty sure as this uh, time comes to to approach uh, the closing time for the auction lobby, the deposits will just uh, go up. But still, it's a very good entry point. Uh, I can tell you right now, the same amount of BNB will get you more BMount tokens on today's auction than it did on the first one. The first one was a very busy auction. There was the, the hype of the launch, obviously, and that that does impact things. So there was more BNB being deposited than uh, uh, today will be, uh, highly likely. Uh, so today is a very good point in time to enter the protocol. And that goes to show you two things. The fact that it's designed for being long lasting. We are already almost two months uh, of age with the Mountain BNB specifically, and that and it also shows that it's designed for both uh, early and late investors alike. So there's no such thing actually as being early or late in in the Mountain, and that the fact that today for the same amount of BNB invested today you will get more tokens than you did on the first week just goes to show that, and and yeah the first week was a very very good week. I'm going to show you my my stake results even. I have been investing 0.1 BNB every week so far and I'm planning to to keep on doing so for the future also. Um so look at look at this. My first stake for my first investment for my first week, I invested 0.1. I got 0.13, like 30% profit on top of my initial investment that I got back. Pretty pretty good. Second stake, this was my, my second investment. I staked it. I, I do all my stakes for 30 days, by the way, at least 30 days. Some I might do, do longer, depends. Um, but I still invested 0.1 BNB. I got 60% back in my first stake. The third stake, 0.1 BNB invested, I got 70% back. And these ones are already collected, as you can see here. Uh, this one is still ongoing, but look at this. It was my fourth entry on the auction and my 0.1 BNB, it's, it's still on progress, the stake, and it's almost paid back. I already have 90% um, back on this stake. This one has progressed uh, so far 40%, already paid me back 0.07%. So look at this compared, um, and, and also there's the last one. This is the... Um, the youngest one so far actually this one is um, but but yeah this one was from uh, an investment of last week and this one was just a stake that it was actually this one stake that it just came to to an end and i restaked the tokens uh, right away so this just goes to show you like look at this my fourth investment 
it, it's paying me more than my second and my third already. So this goes to prove that this is not, uh, this is very far away from the miners. Uh, it's designed to be giving equal opportunities regardless of how early or late you get in on the protocol. Like I said, there's no such thing as being early or late and this stake itself proves it. 90% back already for my initial investment and it's, it's still, um, it still has 25% of progress to, grow, to, to go until it finishes. So this is the best, um, the best example I can give you. This is also a very good example I can give you. These were my some of my latest investments and they are paying out more than um, my, my previous ones did. Uh, only the first one paid, uh, paid me higher than that and that's because of the, how the protocol is designed to, to distribute rewards to users. The first week will have more condensed rewards. The others are just spread out throughout time um, in a more diluted way, okay? So I'm bringing you this video today because the auction is very close to, to coming to an end. We have a little over one hour and 30 minutes and the next one will be only uh, available next week and this just goes to show you how this project works and um, regarding uh, what ha can happen to the tvl also uh, i'm going to go back here on stakes to show you regardless what of what happens to the tvl whatever you see here like dividends these ones are already collected but these ones that are still to be collected these are reserved for you they are not going anywhere. It doesn't matter what happens to the TVL. Only you can collect this, okay? So this is one other thing why I really like this project and I will, I will keep on investing in it because look at these results, very, very good. Um, knowing that you can have this type of results and there's no such thing as waking up tomorrow and the project is just drained, that's not gonna happen. It's designed to to such things not to happen. It's designed for the long run. I believe this can last many, many months, hopefully years. And I believe this can be a landmark on DeFi. Um, I re I'm really, really happy with the results of it so far. The, the, the Matic one, it has been working differently for me, but still I make a, a positive appreciation of everything up to this point in time. Um, and the BUSD one, as it's still at an early stage, but I believe it can be as um, at least giving me the same results than this one, if not higher. Okay, I'm really happy with the results. I'm bringing you this video to to just share with you my results on the mountain to let you know why what happened with stable fund and wealth mountain is not something which we can see happening with the mountain there's no such thing as we waking up tomorrow and the tvl on this one coming to an end no it's not designed in that way and it has a solid team uh, backing it they already did buybacks uh, both on the matic um, and also on the busd one and that only goes to show that the team is there they are paying attention to the to what happens to the projects and and they are backing it so i'm just also giving you alternatives if you're considering all projects are written the same they are not i'm showing you examples my personal experience and i'm, I'm hoping that this video might make you consider um, in, in case you if you are losing faith in DeFi, don't because there's a lot of people doing this type of projects that can can work and will work guys okay not, once again not financial advice but that's just what what i want to share with you for today uh, my my personal results with the mountain and why what we saw happening for the past week with those big projects uh, cannot happen with the mountain uh, remember guys tvls they are important they are good for the eye yes they are a very good eye candy but they are not what makes or breaks a project it's contracts and communities who can make it or break it okay so that's what i had for you for today those are my experiences with the mountain let me know if you're into the mountain on the comments if you are considering joining in or not if you have doubts reach out to me uh, i'll i'll let you know um, and help you in in any way i can 
um, but still the best choice for you is just to to just go on their telegram channel um, or even the discord and and join the community ask questions to the team and you'll see for yourself okay i'm gonna wrap it this one up guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, i'm gonna see you on the next one until then take care and keep on exploring